Kaposi sarcoma is the topic, and Kaposi sarcoma, we'll abbreviate KS, and it is a vascular tumor. And this tumor is malignant, and most commonly, it occurs in patients who are immunosuppressed. And when an immunosuppressed patient is infected with a certain virus, you most likely will develop Kaposi sarcoma, which is that tumor. And that virus is human herpes virus type 8, or abbreviated HHV8. Now, when I say immunosuppressed patients, what type of patients are we talking about? Well, very commonly AIDS patients who have very low immune system, and also uh, patients who are at risk of developing HIV and AIDS. So patients, for example, who are IV drug users, such as heroin addicts. And another uh, category of immunosuppressed patients are patients who are organ transplant recipients. Due to the medications that they're on, their immu immune system can be suppressed. So what exactly does this uh, tumor look like? Well, the lesions are characteristically described as being purple. And uh, they can be either macules or plaques or nodules. And they can appear on various parts of the body. They can appear on the face, nose. They can appear on the oral mucosa and a few other places as well. But if you do have a clinical vignette that describes purple lesions in a patient that has some form of immunosuppression such as AIDS or organ transplant, then uh, Kaposi sarcoma should be very high on your differential. Diagnosis, you have to do a biopsy and the biopsy will reveal the classic type of spindle cells that appear in this uh, tumor. And the treatment essentially is a surgical removal if there's a single uh, lesion and if there's multiple lesions, then you would do some form of radiation. So let's uh, take a look at a couple clinical vignettes. 35-year-old homosexual man with HIV infection presents with recent painless purple skin plaques on his lower legs and generalized lymphadenopathy. Um, he has similar skin lesions on his trunk and purple colored mass on his hard palate. Infection with which of the following viruses would most likely be directly related to the development of this tumor? Well, as we uh, discussed earlier, it's human herpes virus type 8. So the answer is C. And then finally, 32-year-old gardener comes to the office because of a lesion on his nose that has been increasing in size over the past few weeks. He says that he rarely sees a doctor and is reluctant to discuss his medical history. He works outside for about 10 hours a day, smokes two packs of cigarettes a day, and drinks about approximately a case of beer a night. He states that sometimes he shoots up heroin with a few guys uh, that hang out on the stoop around the block. Physical exam shows a 1.5 centimeter purple nodule on the tip of his nose, a 0.6 centimeter red purple raised macule on the tragus of his left ear, a one centimeter purplish blue area of discoloration on the roof of his mouth, and a four centimeter confluent lesion made up of purplish brown plaques, patches, nodules, and tumors on the interior surface of his right leg. The results of the punch biopsy, which returned a week, show spindle cells, endothelial cells, and the extravasation of red blood cells. The factor in this patient's history most closely correlated with these lesions is. Well, he's definitely got Kaposi sarcoma and he's got multiple lesions. And he's most likely immunosuppressed. And what's uh, very significant in the history is that he is an IV drug user. In particular, he even tells you the drug, it's heroin. And most likely he's uh, acquired HIV from this heroin use, uh, passing infected needles from person to person. So if he does indeed have HIV, that's causing the immunosuppression. And then, of course, he's developed multiple Kaposi sarcoma lesions. So the factor in his history that's most correlated related to these lesions is the fact that he's using IV drugs. So the answer to this question would be C.